Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX5 once again. So in today's video, we are going to do a very exciting thing which you have requested many times to me. Yes, in today's video, we are going to see how we can render any asset from Blender and how we can compose it in Nuke. Yes, it's a very requested video and today we are going to cover it. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, as you can see over here, I have a Blender setup and to be very frank, I am not a frequent user of Blender, but for your sake, you have requested many time, I am going to use Blender just to render things, right? So here I have a robot and which is textured. So before rendering, you have to keep it in mind that in which renderer you are going to use it. So what kind of render engine you are going to use. So I am going to use cycles and by default it will be on EV but you have to render it on cycles because we will get more control over render passes right apart from that you have to go over here in output properties and in output properties you have to select open exr multi-layer by default it will be on png but you have to select open exr multi-layer and you have to click on float half you can click it on float full but render layer will be of more mbs right so I'm not going to use float full. I'm going to use float half, right? Apart from that, you have to check what kind of render you are going to use. So over here in my viewport shading mode, you have a drop down menu and in that drop down menu, render passes you are getting combined. So if I'm going to check what kind of ambient occlusion I'm getting. So these kind of ambient occlusion I'm getting, right? So if I want to check more, just go over here. And apart from ambient occlusion, you can check like uh, what kind of diffuse direct I'm getting. So this is my direct lighting. So I'm not going to deep dive into lighting and that kind of stuff. Basically, I'm going to show you how I used render passes from blender right so once you have checked you can go over here in view layers and in view layers i have all controls what i am going to render so for this example i'm going to render combined which is your rgb and i'm going to use g depth mist position normal uv and in lighting, I'm going to use direct, indirect and color because I have to multiply it, right? So in glossiness, I'm going to use direct, indirect and color. Transmission, I don't have, so I'm not going to use it. Volume, I don't have, so I'm not going to render it. I have emission, so I'm going to render emission pass, ambient occlusion pass and crypto mat. That's it. If you want, you can use shader UVs and you can create your own shader UVs. Suppose that if you want to render your key light separately, your rim light separately, you can use your shader UVs and light groups to do that as per your requirement, right? But in this case, I'm not needing it. So I'm not going to do that, right? After setting it, what you can do, you can go over here in render and you can click render image so what will happen your image will be rendered and once it is done you can go to image and you can save since it's rendering i am not having any save options so previously i have done it so directly i'm going to jump inside nuke and i'll show you what i have okay as you can see over here i have my render but uh, here we don't have anything but if you can go we have multiple layers so if i'm going to show you over here like a layer context sheet so you'll see we have multiple layers combined with this exr right so multiple times i have explained these things i'm not going to do it again and directly i'm going to start compositing things right so i'm going to take a note called shuffle where with the help of shuffle i can shuffle any layer so first thing first, I'm going to work with lighting passes. So in Blender, we have little different than Arnold renderer in Maya. So I'm going to shuffle first thing first, diffuse color. So this is my diffuse color. And if you want name on shuffle node, whatever you have shuffled. So you have to go to node and you can type value space in and bracket close so you can directly see your shuffled layer name 
and I'm going to control C and control V and I'm going to connect it over here and probably I'll connect over here and I'm going to shuffle diffuse direct. So this will be my direct light and you can easily see it's all washed out. So basically it's all light information. You have to multiply this data with your render color, right? Which is diffuse color. So I'm going to connect it and over here in operations, I'm going to connect with or I'm going to multiply this data. So my light data is multiply with my color, right? direct colors i'm going to copy one more time and i'm going to shuffle indirect lighting so this will be my indirect lighting and probably i'm going to shuffle uh, diffuse indirect so this is my indirect lighting and same way i'm going to multiply my indirect lighting with my diffuse color so if i want i can shuffle again and probably i'm not going to do it and i'm going to connect this data over here and probably I'm going to connect over here, right? So uh, again, if if you want any specific workflow, so probably I can go over here and probably I can copy it and I'm going to shuffle it, shuffle my diffuse color and I'm going to connect it over here and probably I can multiply it. So this will be my indirect lighting. This will be my direct lighting. And again, I'm going to take another merge and this will be my direct and this will be my indirect and i'm going to plus it because light passes must be on plus mode so apart from that what else i can do i can take another shuffle probably i can control v and i'm going to shuffle my probably gloss color so this will be my gloss color and in gloss color probably let me make some space over here it will be needed. So with the help of gloss color, I'm going to shuffle my gloss direct, right? So whatever glossiness is coming from direct light, I'm going to shuffle it out and I'm going to take a merge node and probably I'm going to connect it like this and I'm going to multiply it again. This is how Blender works. And again, I'm going to uh, plus it over my lighting pass like this right so i'm going to choose plus right so this will be my direct light only this will be my indirect light only and this will be my direct plus indirect and this will be my glossiness right with direct light so again i'm going to shuffle one more light and this will be my indirect glossiness so i'm going to connect it over here and I'm going to shuffle my glossiness indirect. So this is my glossiness indirect and probably I'm going to take merge and directly I'm going to connect it over here so that I can save some time and I'm going to multiply it. And again, I'm going to take another merge and this will be my light or gloss light or gloss pass with my other lighting passes. So this will be my glossiness and lighting passes. So if needed, I'm going over here and I'm going to take another shuffle, another shuffle node. And in this shuffle node, probably I'm going to use my uh, emission passes. So this is my emission passes and probably I'm going to use it in a different way. So first thing first, I'm going to merge this emission passes with my main lighting passes in plus mode, right? And I'm going to change multiple things over here. So I'm going to take another dot node over here and I'm going to take a glow node, right? So this is my glow node and I'm going to connect it over here and I'm going to use effect only and probably this will be my spreaded view and brightness should be more, right? Like this. If needed, I can use another brightness node and I am going over here and probably I can plus it. Or rather than using over here, I'm going to plus it over here as well, right? So probably it will be good. So I'm going to plus it. But I can easily see it's not looking the way I want. I need more glow. So probably in after glow, I can use a grade node and I can increase the gain. So this is something you can do and in glow node probably I can use more size and 
apart from that let me make some more spaces so probably will be needing that and i'm going to use another dot node over here and i'm going to use another glow node over here right and i'm going to connect it over here and in that particular glow node again i'm going to effect only and probably this time i'm going to use tolerance like this and i'm going to use brightness little more and little more spread and this time again i'm going to use plus node like this so you can easily see i'm having all kind of glow and all kind of my self illuminating objects right so this is a pretty basic setup if you need you can do multiple things like after that if i need to use my ambient occlusion so that i can use some self shadows so i am going to another shuffle node and in that particular shuffle node i am going to use my ambient occlusion so if needed i can directly use my ambient occlusion but i am not going to use it directly i am going to take another shuffle and i am going to use my diffuse pass so i don't have any kind of diffuse but uh, if you can see i am having my view layer diffuse direct so probably in this case i am going to use my diffuse color right so that will be convenient and i am going to use merge and this probably i will use in multiply mode so i can easily see i am having my depth kind of stuff and probably i can use another merge and i can do this so this time probably i'll use over but i can easily see i am having little brightness and probably i'll i'll use a grade node in my diffuse and i can reduce gain so this is something what i i am using it's not mandatory that you should use but it's it's all okay right so this is i am getting and probably you can see i am having my burn kind of stuff over here so let me figure it out where it comes so here it is fine here it is fine here it is i am getting my burn kind of stuff right so probably you can see i am having my gloss and uh, this is this is burning kind of stuff so how i can fix it it's pretty simple let me do that i'm going to use a one more node called crypto crypto mat so in crypto mat i am having selection for that and probably i'll go pick and i'll pick this so i am having my mask and probably i'll take a grade node over here and i am going to connect this with crypto mat right and now i am going to lower down my gain right so now you can easily see if i'm going to see it over here i am having my this information pretty intact right if i'm going to disable it you can see i'm not having good stuff so i'm having good stuff if you want to control this thing so probably in crypto mat i'm going to use picker add and i'm going to add it right like this like this and if i'm going to see from final i am having good information so this is something a pretty basic stuff and i'm not going to show you how we can use normal map how we can use uv map but this is something basic i would like to explain if needed if you want please comment down below i can make a detailed video how i can do compositing of blender render in detail but this is pretty basic and i hope this video is helping you to understand how you can render your passes from blender and how we can compose inside new so if you think that this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is wfx vibe signing off have a good day